The 12 Weirdest Things Found in Paris. Number 12. The Museum of Counterfeiting. Paris is known for being home to several high-end products, luxury items and art, but it is also home to people who try to make a quick buck off of counterfeits made to look like those things. At the Musée de la Contrefaçon, or the Museum of Counterfeiting, you can find a collection of hundreds of these bootleg luxury items. The museum sits inside the Hotel Particulier, which belonged to Gaston Louis Vuitton who was the president of the Unifab, a.k.a. the Union of Manufacturers. The hotel became the headquarters where confiscated counterfeit items are stored and investigated. A large part of the counterfeit products have been seized, although some of them have also been donated. If you're curious to see some bootleg Chanel gloves, then this is the place to be. Number 11. Paris's Ancient Sewers Why would you go explore the streets of Paris when you could spend some time exploring underground tunnels and sewer passages beneath them? At the Paris Sewer Museum, you can do just that. You can explore Paris's defunct ancient sewers if you're so curious as to what happened to the excrement of people 200 years ago. When initially being mapped out in 1805, Pierre Brunesseau discovered medieval dungeons, jewels, and the skeleton of an escaped orangutan. Probably one of the strangest things is a huge metal ball that would be pushed through the tunnels to clean them. Number 10. A giant steam-powered bat. If you're into the steampunk scene, you might be real interested in this next one. At the Museum of Arts and Crafts, you can find a giant steam-powered bat hanging from the ceiling. However, it is more of a prototype than an actual functioning model, and is probably seeing more air today than it ever did when it was first built in the 1890s. It was dreamed up by Clement Eder, who dubbed it the Avion 3. Number 9. Museum of Hunting and Nature There are a lot of places to find taxidermied animals in Paris, but true enthusiasts have to see the collection at the Museum of Hunting and Nature. The museum was established in 1964 and is a proponent of ethical animal hunting practices. Although most of the museum is dedicated to the beauty of natural animal specimens, there are some rooms that showcase the mythical. In the collection, you can find a unicorn and even a rooster with horns on display. Number 8. The Cemetery of Dogs The Cemetery of Dogs is reportedly the oldest pet cemetery in Europe. Opened first in 1899, the grave of famous dog actor Ring Tin Tin rests here as well as a racehorse and several other pets. Many of these cemeteries are decorated with custom dog statues and dog toy offerings. There are even stone dog houses instead of mausoleums. With a small fee paid to enter, you are free to wander the tombs and interact with the stray cats that are taken care of on the site. Number 7. Famous Hair The Museum Carnavale is considered one of the most important museums in Paris, which tells the founding and history of Paris. The museum is composed of two 16th century mansions and decorated with the four seasons to emulate the passage of time. It includes art, painting and sculptures to show. But many people are more interested in the more quirky and obscure collection of items from throughout Parisian history. These include Napoleon's toiletries, Marie Antoinette's personal worldly goods, and even a small amulet with a locket of hair from Maximilien Robespierre, a key figure of the French Revolution. Number 6. Dead and Stuffed Rats If you're sick of seeing the real-life rats scurrying around Paris, then you might want to head over to the Julien Alruz & Co for a refreshing view of dead rats. Originally founded in 1872, the Julien Arouz & Co specializes in pest control, specifically rat killers. They have evidently been successful as they are still in business to this day. They advertise their rat killing prowess by displaying stuffed rats hung by the neck right at their storefront. You might remember this shocking display having a cameo in a pivotal scene in the movie Ratatouille. Number 5. Strange Paintings the Louvre is a world-renowned museum of art where you'll find some of the most famous and celebrated images in the art world, including the infamous Mona Lisa. Among them is a truly bizarre painting of good King Henry IV's mistress, Gabrielle d'Estres. It depicts her and her sister completely topless with her sister pinching her nipple. While her sister pinches her chest, she holds the coronation ring of good King Henry, and somehow this is all meant to depict maternity. 
Number 4. The Musée de Poitron is one of the city's weirdest hidden gems. It was a wax museum that collected anatomical wax figures that illustrated diseases and malformations of the body. It was originally established almost 200 years ago in 1835 and has since grown to have around 6,000 objects in their collections. Inside, you can find wax castings, bones, body parts in jars, as well as photographs and paintings. If you're into realistic replicas of malformed bodies in jars, then this is the place for you. Unfortunately, as of March 2016, it was closed indefinitely and being moved to a new location where it will be reopened by appointment only on September of 2016. Number 3. The Museum of Vampires and Legendary Creatures Up a gravel path and into a black entrance, you can find a creepy garden, plastic bats, and a vast collection of references to vampires across history. The owner, Jacques Sergent, has spent a lifetime studying vampirism, esotericism, and folklore and collecting related items. In the museum, you can find the history of Paris, wherein vampire rituals were once practiced, superstitions of the undead, and where Christianity actively crusaded against cannibal sorcery. If supernatural history and weird occult things are up your alley, then this is the dark, dark place for you. Number 2. Derol Taxidermy At Derol Taxidermy, you can find a plethora of beautiful dead animals. It was founded by Emile Derol in 1831 and has been its current 19th century two-story building since 1881. Inside, you can find exotic taxidermy and specimens in jars as well. Today, you can find anything from a taxidermied cat to a polar bear. Even things like crabs are turned into pieces of beautiful art. Number 1. The Catacombs The Catacombs of Paris have a story as old as the city itself. In and around Paris are limestone quarries, the source of Paris's original growth spurt. In 1785, the cemeteries in Paris were overflowing, causing health problems and creating a putrid stench that penetrated the air around the whole city. It took 30 years for the remains of the cemeteries to be moved into the quarries, where they created the Catacombs of Paris. To this day, more than 200 miles of tunnels are lined with the remains of deceased Parisians. Their bones form intricate patterns along the walls, creating both a beautiful and completely creepy atmosphere. After security issues and incidents of theft, the catacombs that are viewable by the public have been limited to a very small portion. 